Hi. Today we see the concept of cyclicity if we have a power raised to power raised to power or any power. Okay. We have a question 94 raised to power 101 raised to power 197. Sorry, 97 divided by 97. For this, we are going to use two concepts. One concept is the cyclicity. Okay. Another concept is if you have a 2 raised to power 3 raised to power 2, what would be the value? Generally, if you have power raised to power raised to power, we do not start from the bottom, we start from the top. We make bundle of 2 from the top and solve. This is just nothing but 2 raised to power 9 is nothing but 512. So, please, we are going to use this concept and the cyclicity. First, check the concept. We have to divide 94 raised to power 101 raised to power 97 divided by 97. We have to find the remainder. So, what we have to do? We have to find the cyclicity of 97. We have to find the cyclicity of 97 which we know is nothing but 96 and we check which what is the power the complete is a power and 94 is a base so we have to divide power 101 raised to power 97 by 96 and find remainder we have to find the remainder when the power divided by cyclicity and replace power by the remainder here we have again a new question 101 raised to power 97 divided by 96 so what we have to do we have to find again the 96 cyclicity, cyclicity of 96 and divide 97 that is the power by the cyclicity of 96 means we have to find this value and replace and so on. So we have to just doing what cyclicity, then cyclicity, then cyclicity means cyclicity of cyclicity of cyclicity on the every and the each power and work reverse because this is so work the reverse. So let's start the question. I hope this is clear to you. Our question is. 94 raised to power 101 raised to power 97 divided by 97 what would be the remainder okay so we have to find the cyclicity of 97 we know the cyclicity of 97 is 96 that is 97 raised to power 1 in sorry 97 raised to power 1 into 1 upon 97 and 96 this is cancel out that is the 96 is my cyclicity for this okay so we have to divide this number by 97 because it's our question this number by the cyclicity of 97 is 96 and this number divide by the cyclicity of 96 to check the cyclicity of 96 our funda is factorize the 96 96 is the 2 raised to power 5 into 3 and find the cyclicity of 2 5 the cyclicity of 2 5 is the 2 cube we know we have a special case of a 2n. The cyclicity of 2n is 2n minus 1. When the n is less than or equal to 2, cyclicity of 2n is 2n minus 2. When the n is greater than or equal to 3, it's a this case in this. So 2, 5 is the 2 cube and the cyclicity of 3 is nothing but 2. And we have to find the cyclicity of 96. So we have to find the individual cyclicity and take the LCM. The LCM of 2 cube and 2 is nothing but 8. So our cyclicity of 96 is 8. So divide the upper power by the cyclicity of 96. We divide the base by 97. Upper power by the cyclicity of 97. Then upper power the cyclicity of 8. Now solve. First we have to solve. 97 divided by 8. What would be the remainder? We know the remainder is nothing but 1. It is clear. We have to divide this. So what we have to do? We have to replace this value. We have to re replace this value by 1 okay so our question is 9101 raised to power 1 divided by 96 what would be the remainder so we know we have to find this value and we know 101 divided by 96 is the remainder is 5 so we find the value when this power divided by 96 and so again what we have to do we have to replace this remainder so we have to replace this power we replace this power by the value 5 so we put value 5 just above the 94 because this is my new power. I hope it's clear. Now we have to divide 94 raised to power 5 divided by 97. And we know when the 94 divided by 97, the remainder is minus 3. So the 94 raised to power 5 divided by the remainder would be minus 3 raised to power 5. For the 94, we have minus 3, 94 raised to power 5, we have 5. So total value would be for this, we have to find when the remainder this is minus 3 raised to 5 is nothing but minus 243 divided by 97 and we know 
243 is greater than 97 and our remainder is always less than the value which is divisor the modulus of the remainder is always less than the divisor so we calculate remainder 243 divided by minus 7 is nothing but it's a remainder of minus 49 for the 97 and the remainder can't be negative so minus 49 for the 97 is a positive remainder of 48 okay so this is my answer what we have to do is we do not think anything we just find the value is divide this value divide this value by the 97 because it's quotient then this value just our power by the cyclicity of 97 means divide this value by the 97 and this value by the cyclicity of 96 is 8 and replace the remainders and continue from the top to bottom okay if you have another value so we divide like if you have 97 again so the cyclicity of 8 is nothing but 2 so we divide 97 by 2 and so on so this is my method to solve the question here check one thing we are working on a co primes 97 94 co primes and the rest are the co primes pairs we'll discuss more if in the next session or the next video if they are not the co prime but for this you can solve this value and the use of cyclicity is nothing but to reduce the power if you have a bigger power after reducing the power you can use the chinese remainder theorem or the step by step process okay so i hope it is clear to you the final answer of this would be 48 okay Thank you.